Well, we are back at it again. Back on the platform. It looks like we got another uh, memory. Another bleed through memory that's going to come at us. Right now. So, Mr. BB, show us what you got. Or, I guess your name is Lou now. Gotta get acquainted with that. King Lou. Can I help you? Pads, we just fought you a little while ago, man. John. How can we know nothing about you, you still? Aside from your name. What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want to repeat the blast here. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming. Whoa! Wait a minute. Was that soldier that just came in? Was that Don Hardman? We didn't see his face, but I think I recognize that voice actor's voice. That means, now that we got the name of who this guy is, and Die Hardman now knows who he is, why hasn't he said anything yet? Sam, if my suspicion's correct. The west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. I think, it, I think that guy was Die Hardman. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held Yeah, captive. that's right. Once we get there, we would have seated and tracking safely. all the way across the but entire continent. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. All right, we finally get to meet Hartman. Meet him face to face. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. That makes sense. Put them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Corpse? Uh, her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would Do I have like to go backtrack and get her body then? Know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. That makes sense. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. Uh, that's right. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Okay. Uh, well, we may as well do a quick standard delivery bot while I'm at it. Benefits from that. May as well do something. water really far out that's a really far out order so if I were to do that that'd be a pain in the ass here order delivery corpse delivery okay so no it's already here I'm out not city I need I don't need to go far like Hartman told you before he wants you to deliver mama's body to his lab hers is an exceptionally rare case and he'd like to perform a thorough examination Hopefully, it'll help us to better understand the Death Stranding. So you know, the Sisters Ka have given their consent. They won't be needing this Ha anymore. Yeah, because they're now in the same body, so it would, make, it would make sense she would want to give up her body for the greater good. Uh, to understand the Death Stranding more and why her body's not going through the process. Now, recovery, winter clothes. Um, I just read an email a little while ago in the game. Um, at, someone asking for me to go retrieve... Uh, dead men's um, coat and boots that were left behind in the wreckage. Because uh, man, dead men the last time we ended up getting hit by that supercell, and that supercell knocked out that entire cabin. So now we got to go pick up some of the stuff there and bring it back. Shouldn't probably take me too long. I can't imagine um, I need to do too much of it. So we'll just grab what we need real quick here, and then move on fast, quickly. Placement okay, so now we finally made it back. We'll deliver these clothes real quick, and then we can press on with carrying that body. Now, I have a memory chip I need to actually get rid of real quick here. The great deliverer does it again. Much obliged. No problem. Bye. Hit Yamaha. Thank you for your contribution. 
and deliver this clothing real quick. I'm not exactly certain why the clothing is so important. I just not make more, but I suppose waste not. Not indeed. Hey Sam. Look, I'm uh sorry to impose on you once again, but uh we wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Okay. Wow, you Okay, you he was really just talking about the clothing. I thought he was asking for something else now. Be wonderful if you get me something, though. Need something for my, my hard work. We're going to get through this because of you. Thank you, Sam. No problem. Now, give me your shit. Before we do that, though, go ahead and recycle some useless equipment that I no longer need. May as well recycle this empty crap Freud used. Out. Phrase. Kind of at the end of their life. This thing is at the end of its life. That's really about it, isn't it? Oh wow, the power gloves, they're at 97. Yeah, because they're constantly exposed to things. That makes sense. May as well get rid of these boots too while I'm at it. Like all that. That said, uh, I gotta carry a body. Usually means I cannot carry anything else but the body. That said, I am going all the way over here. Is there going to be? Um, is there going to be timefall? There is going to be timefall. I have to cut through some timefall through this mountain path. And then I get there. And it looks like there's a large amount of time fall coming in. And it's going westward. So. This one's going south. I may actually miss the time fall overall. But I'm going to prepare for it just in case. So. With time fall usually means BT. So. Let's grab some anti BT weapons. I've got some hematic grenades which will be helpful. Um, we're going to carry this on my back. Yep, everything that I'm carrying on my back will go to the ground. So we're going to get rid of all these. Put these back in the private lock. Got plenty of blood pouches. Um, Matic grenades will do me good. I've got EX grenade to get around them. Some bombs if I need them. What else? I need something on my tool rack, though. What do I have on me? Go ahead and put this private locker. It's attached to my... Pyro boot. I'm gonna need to equip this put my footwear. Let's put wear out faster. Now, let's get myself equipped with some basic equipment I would need. I could carry a floater, but I don't think I'm gonna need one. Oh. Yeah, that's gotta be rough. And to think that the other sister is in that body, All right, watching Sam. her old body being put away. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. And I suppose her body can't go necro because her soul isn't in that in that body anymore. And without the soul being there, her body uh, can't go necro because there's no beach to attach to that soul. Is fabricate some equipment. So let's go ahead and make an anti. Done probably, what I'm thinking. Got plenty of hematic grenade. Go ahead and make an anti handgun. I don't think a bike's gonna do me a lot of good. That kind of turn. Still very mountainy. And I think the bike would just basically give out pretty quick. And with all that snow, it's gonna slow down, plus, it's just gonna fall apart after a certain period of time. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help. Uh, ladder. I 
Probably not. But we'll go ahead and fabricate this. Carry this on my back. I think I have a couple of... Yeah, I have an anchor, chiral anchor. Mac grenade. Carry that too? Nope. Florak, maybe? Pouch? Shoot. I'm gonna attach that to the right shoulder. Next, I'm gonna need... I don't think I'm gonna need any container sprays, actually. I'm not going into any territories where I'm gonna need... But, I could use... Let's carry this on my tool rack. Next thing I can think of that I would probably need is a ladder. But, may not need one. Let's make one ladder, just in case. One ladder couldn't hurt. Put that on... Okay. I think we're... Before I do that, um, I totally missed something. There's something on the ground. Not a grenade. We're gonna put that in the lock. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, this body is gonna be heavy. It's gonna force me to sway. How far is the distance? Beginning scan. Have 500 a meters. Journey. A little over 500 meters. A lot of vertical terrain. I think I can handle it. So. We'll get trucking along here right now. Too close. God, man, you know, it wasn't that far of a distance to cover, but I gotta admit, getting across this mountain was a bit more more difficult than I thought, but I'm guessing this whole path right here would have made it a lot easier if I just known it was there. I think I did see it on the overhead map, but I just completely forgot about it and took the hard way around. I ended up having to use several anchors to kind of lay out for future travel back prospects and then use a ladder but can you do here now I got it so that's a tar pit in the mountains and it's shaped like a heart it's a little strange but at the same time it's a really cool design I wonder where this tar pit came from, though. Why are the tar pits so bottomless? And... I wonder if they're like a side effect of the. Hopefully, that the, I hope the body didn't get hurt too badly for me slipping and falling a couple times and running into one wall. Yeah, travel. Without a doubt, traveling with corpses is by far the most difficult package in the game so far. They, they constantly throw you off balance. Pretty nice looking little place you got going on here. Go ahead and deliver this. Corpse. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. How'd I do? 
Only took a little bit of damage. 16%. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. That's S rank material, right? Yeah. Wear it out. A B. Nice. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Alright, Cupid you up, little man. I wonder, since Hartman has not been able to have been connected to the chiral network all this time, has he been able to maintain communications with chiral with, you know, UCA? Effectively. He's so all the way out in the mountains, isolated all by himself. With no one to talk to. And where is he getting the money and the resources that he needs? I wonder if the UCA has just been going out of their way to get him established. How many porters must have died trying to get to him, I wonder. Thermal pad. Please proceed into the facility that might be handy. with the cadaver. Good work. I gotta admit, he's got a really nice looking thing going on here, but it's a little creepy with the skulls and the, the rocks. Please proceed oh, like to the facility with the cadaver. Hang on. See. These must be ancient artifacts that he's been collecting over a period of time. A meteor maybe or something. He's been collecting rocks for some reason. I saw a couple skulls back there, yeah. Okay, okay. Get yourself back oh. together. Come on! Until resuscitation. I'm remaining. Then in 15 seconds. Oh, they're like, they're like clay portraits of the of the uh, beings that are on the strands, the BTS. The clay recreations of them. Artistic envisionments of them. There's Hartman. Yeah. Now I know the gimmick behind Hartman's character because I saw the trailer around him. Every I think it's like every 15 minutes he dies, and he has a resuscitator on his on his chest that resurrects him every time he dies. He's constantly dying and re being revived over and over again. Something along that line. Oh, that's a really lifelike picture there. Get a family. I wonder if, if Sam just thinks he's asleep. Cardiac arrest. Administering shock. Stand clear. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Seriously, you kill yourself! <laughs> How does he remember anything after he dies? Wow. Well, That's you weird. certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. Three minutes, he's 60 dead. deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Wow. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. Yeah, I've only been to the seam once. Although, 
I suppose for Sam as a character, he's been there many, many times with all the handprints all over his body. But ah, I see myself in that crater. I think little high is a little my ridiculous. Wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became I think this obsessed is an actual, with an idea real that the beach is real uh, phenomenon and they with are people's hearts. on it. I think I may have heard I would it induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? <laughs> if death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. Ah, oh, that makes sense why they call him Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. He doesn't like being touched, man. Don't you know this? A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. That's strange. She's not decomposing. It's one thing that she's not necrotizing. What's wrong? The whole other thing Where's that she's the not other even thing you were supposed to bring? dissipating. Oh, found it. Decomposing. Behold. Wait, dead man. Uh, 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 don't it say appears it. to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But. This was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. You know what it reminds me? This makes me think that I the real goal was not and just to send this body honest? over here, but also to send that umbilical cord yes. under false pretenses. I think Deadman wanted to send this to her. Doesn't I could be wrong. And an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. One more. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret... Uh, Resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain. If these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. 
His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Oh, you is just fragile here? Relax until I come back. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. How long does it feel we'll for you? We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. An interesting hourglass. Now, do I get a chance to actually roam around and check out what's going on? Okay, cool. Get three minutes to take a look at everything. Remains. Team model, artisan, Russian. I wonder if this is like some kind of like developer kind of deal. Like, you know, you get to see it the developer's creative process here. All the work they put into creating all this detail into this world. Family. Record. Daughter? Unknown or recover from a void out crater. That's what these rocks are. They're from void outs. Period or uh, or Dorvikian period or recover from our belt. Russians, apparitions, chiral crystals, did post gas period. We got a minute left to look around. Crypto bios discovered immediately after the stranding. So these things are uniquely tied to stranding. Ah, the astronaut. Jumbo Ludens. I didn't even mean to find you, that just kind of happened. Bridges. Arrow Hourglass, Arbiter of Life. In, we met the woman that actually made them. Uh, you to look at one more thing, maybe? This. I love you, Daddy. I think that might be everything I can look at. I can't imagine I missed anything. I think I've gotten everything I can to look at. Alright. Okay, so he's back from his beach. I wonder how long it has been. That's gotta be such a shocking experience. That's no pun intended. <laughs> Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation. Adapted. Pollution, nutrition. 
most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> you have to be Sleep super organized. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. 20 All minutes from on. before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> Silent comedy. But oh, honestly. I'm guessing this is a must be like Kojima's whole here. collection in, in his All mind, downtime. in his heart. About films, time spent waiting content, to go back to the search. Um, my body may be present. Creation, all these things, the artistic vision the that he all consumed throughout his life. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> <laughs> that like a hug. Man, he loves throwing me the thumbs up, breaking past that that I barrier. That uh, about your circumstances. That, I guess I lost my family in an accident. Guess too. just kind of how he is. <laughs> Bit of Deadpool in him. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. Oh, his family was caught in the terrorist clear attack. That I was going to pull through. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. Get to see what his beach looks like? Holy shit! And all these people must be going towards their beach right now. Being pulled in after that huge nuclear strike. The people who died in the two void outs were there. And he has no idea what the hell's going on. What happened? What's going on? The deal with that. Uh, oh, he's got color back in him. Is he coming back to life? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Oh, that's what's happening. They're, they're defibrillating him right Where now. Where are you going? Wait. He's trying to get back, he's trying to catch them, but he's constantly being pulled back into the land of living. Don't leave without me. No. Don't go. Oh man. Please, don't go. The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. His one opportunity to be reunited with his family passed at that moment when they, they died in the void Ever out. since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um... You have any family photographs, Sam? Got one. You're gonna lie, of course. Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, 
Um, that was kind of, of funny course. how he knocked the cat clock out There's of there. a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. Probably the first expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish oh, we our research from going posts west along to go south. this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, mm. when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. I think Higgs is the blame. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a yeah, new it seems one. Too it won't be much given the handful of equipment to out of we like managed that. to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. Oh, yep, he's gone. Oh wow, he's got the whole house with with cushions. The whole place is some form of cushion in case he ever drops dead before he gets safe location. Don't worry about him, Sam. It's like You're an insane asylum almost. Or one of those like you. insane um boxes where they try to keep the person from hurting himself. Might be a little late on that one, but hey. That's funny. Got dark points. Just fucking with it. I got it back because he's acceptable about it. A lot of funny little things going on there. Okay, so we gotta go south. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Snap shot of eight. Pass. Yeah, we gotta go south. And uh, by us going south, we'll be connecting three other knots into our chiral network. And in doing so, we might be able to learn something back from the Cretaceous period, learn some new things from the fossils that were left behind. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so. I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. May as well do a quick standard delivery bot.
in Naira. See you later. Bye, bye Droido. Now, put in thermal pads. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. Ice attached to the shoulder or the hip that automatically uh, activate it, blowing it. 